Alright, hey guys, this is in fact Blood Cooker, and I'm going to be bringing you a game for the Hive Mind LAN. We have J Lelly spawning in the bottom right hand corner as the Red Zerg, and his opponent, yeah, his opponent, his opponent's going to be General Tyler spawning in the blue at the top, <coughs> top left actually. Um, and this is going to be a very interesting set of games. Uh, General Tyler um, had, had played in the tournament before. Um, as well as Jay Lelly, and they both did fairly decently. Jay Lelly actually took second place, and uh, that was absolutely fantastic set of games, um, at least to watch, or so I heard. Um, but I, <laughs> I guess I'm the one to speak. Um, and they are going to be playing on Antigua Shipyard, the map with the super easy third base. Here's your second natural right here with the oh, good old neutral supply depot. Followed by a very easily takeable third, um, and this map definitely favors Protoss quite a bit because it's kind of easy to have an army here and defend your third from those with those rocks and everything. Um, so Protoss like to have that third base up, uh, and Zerg has a hard time denying it. So I guess we'll find out how this game plays out. Um, thank huge thanks to I guess the Hive Mind Land in general for letting me cast these games. Uh, I guess huge. Huge thanks to Blake and Ken. Um, they're actually casting all of the lower league games, and uh, they let me cast these higher league games. So, uh, looks like, <laughs> looks like, um, I guess, J Lully didn't want to put the spawning pool in the way of his gas, and they're laughing about it, which is good. It's all good. And I wonder if J Lully knows that this is the MLG version, so you can only spawn cross spawns. Um, I guess we'll find out in a second. Is he? Is that drone like walking on those little? See that right there? Hang on, let's take a look at this guy. See that? Look, he's crawling on his little wings that he's got there. Huh. That's interesting. Never noticed that. Um, so this is the part of the show where I get to plug the Hive Mind Land and let you know that the name panel is actually up. Thank goodness! Because dumb old me never remembers that. So, guys, uh, definitely watch and subscribe to Hive Mind Star League on YouTube. Uh, we'll have, uh, I guess, links on Facebook. Um, and join the group, like the group, uh, whatever you want to do with the group. Um, you should definitely join, watch, and then come to our tournament events. Uh, I'm hoping we can make this more of a, um, I guess, standard thing where we have one event dedicated to StarCraft. That would be actually fantastic um, if we actually did that. Uh, I like this choice from Jay Lelly, going early expand but not getting too greedy with this third base uh, because he did see that... General Tyler is not in fact fast expanding. He is getting up warp gate and getting up two gateways. Now we haven't seen the second gas yet, so this indicates that he wants to do some sort of aggressive play. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt um, some sort of four gate, maybe even a three gate into expand. Uh, I guess we'll see because if he's not going to use that extra gas for tech, I guess we'll find out what he's going to use that for. Um, Zerglings running around making sure there's no proxy pylons. Love this play, Jay Lelly. You are my hero, uh, and I, I like the uh, I like the wall off, and I like the stalker in the back protecting it all. Um, now stalkers right here. This indicates that he probably wants to be going for some sort of attack, but there we go. Second gas going down. Probably going to be switching it up into some tech. Um, I guess he's he's probably worried about some sort of break in, but there's not going to be too much going on besides a queen party, queen party, and over to the natural expansion, and there comes the third base from Jay Lally. So. Game's starting up, and it looks like we're going to be in more of a macro game here, uh, unless General Tyler wants to make an early push, which I would not, I would not blame him for doing an early push. Um, he's got this probe out and about. Uh, if he puts down a proxy pylon, that'd be fantastic. He has seen the third base, so at this point he may want to, oh, kind of a hidden, more hidden robo than usual, going down right, right uh, in the back of the base here. Let's see how he uses this, and the probe hiding in the back as well. Uh, now with the new queen range buff, um, many queens has been preferable for Zerg players. Uh, laying down those extra creep tumors, pooping them out, um, and that kind of thing has been going on a lot more. And my computer's lagging, so that's great. That's fantastic. There we go, there's some sentries. And the probe lives, the probe lives to tell the tale of the Zergling that was chasing him. JLL is going to go ahead and move this overlord into position to scout. 
Uh, two gas is coming out for General Tyler. And I will, let's see what he builds out of this uh, Robo Bay. There we go, an Observer. So he's going to be playing it pretty safe. Pretty safe, pretty standard. And as you guys can see, throwing down that Expo. Let's take a look at the worker count here. Uh, Jay Lilly, obviously in the lead because he has those extra bases, but not by not by an incredible amount. Only about 10, and that's usually where... Uh, I mean, that, that that's not too big of a deal at this point. Um, it depends all about when General Tyler decides to get his third up. That's going to be the huge game changer. Um, Lair Tech not even out. Going to play it really safe putting up those spine crawlers. Uh, and I do like this play, especially... Um, has he seen the Expo is the question. No, he has not. So he is going to do what he can to defend himself against any possible four gate or any possible... Um, I don't know, amount of gateways and immortals that can come out of one base. But General Tyler is just going to go ahead and expand. Throwing down that expansion, and the Observer is going to get him an eyeful here. Because he has, he has one eye. Um, just, he just has one eye, that's about it. Uh, <laughs> moving the Spine Crawlers into a more defensible position. And a macro game, ladies and gentlemen. We have ourselves a macro game. All right, so if if uh, J. Lully wins this set of games, he's going to be fighting against. Let's see, he's going to be fighting against Death Waffles, and they have a rivalry actually that goes on, um, and it's been going on for a little bit now, ever since the first, actually second, Hive Mind Star League tourney uh, has ever gone down. Um, they've had a small feud, uh, and I'll talk about that later because eight roaches are on the way. Uh, it, are these defensive roaches or are these offensive roaches? That is going to be the question. But anyways, Jay Lully, uh, a very very good player. I believe he just got promoted to diamond. So congratulations, Jay Lully, for getting that diamond promotion. Uh, you definitely deserve it. Um, and uh, I guess we'll find out who wins this set of games here. Again, moving the spine crawlers into a more uh, forward position to help defend this third base up here. And how many queens do we have out on the field right now? We have only three queens. So not necessarily taking advantage of the uh, queen queen buff as much, but he hasn't really needed to at this point. So a nice wall off. Actually, nice nice line of zealots. I really like this play. He's got the sentries and stalkers in the back with the immortal and all the zealots in the front. Um, and I believe they're, yeah, they're even on hold position here, which is really cool. That's, that's a fancy, fancy play there, General Tyler. I approve. All right, so getting all these roaches out. Let's take a look at the resources. Oh, man, Zerg with their third base. Jay Lely has doubled the amount of workers his opponent has. Uh, General Tyler, oh, and now he's getting he's getting up to the critical number. You're looking at about 75 or 80 is what you want to be at. And we have a huge supply differential right now. All that's going to be seen from this third base right here. Um, and the lack of aggression from General Tyler. Um, and I guess he's not really making too many probes and putting down a lot of pylons because if you get supply blocked, man, then what do you do? You got to put down a lot of pylons. So nothing too bad about that. Nice circling placement, getting ready to see if General Tyler decides to push out. Um, and then he'll be able to react accordingly. More spine crawlers going down, more precautionary than anything, and 12 roaches are on the way with roach speed, and plus two attacks as well, and burrow. So we're going to be seeing some crazy shenanigans here from Jay Lely. Uh, and, uh, well, I guess we'll find out in a second here. I've noticed Jay Lely really likes his roaches. Uh, I guess mo so do most Zerg players, but Jay Lely especially, he really does like the roaches. Um, yeah, but unfortunately for those roaches and Jay Lily, there's the immortals out here, and the immortals are going to do tons and tons of damage. And he does see that this army of roaches is moving out. Um, the question is, will it be able to break this front door? And I highly doubt it. This is a very nice position from General Tyler. Um, but I guess we will find out in a second here. And my computer is just lagging up a storm. Oh my gosh. We'll see if we can fix that for next game. Um, but I guess there are a lot of roaches out at this point. And, uh, yeah, so keeping up on his injects fairly well. Uh, let's see. Yeah, queens have a little bit of energy on them, but 
that's totally fine. Uh, fourth base going down for Jay Lely. So this non-aggressive game is turning into uh, a Zerg, Zerg mass-up party here. Uh, General Tyler really needs to do something. He's got a decent-sized army. Um, it might actually be a good idea to push out right now. Uh, well, actually, no, probably not, because Zerg is, in fact, maxed before the 20-minute mark. And here goes down the rocks because he can, uh, even though the third base isn't there. Um, might as well do it uh, in advance so that you can... I mean, he doesn't really need this army for anything else. So plus one attack and armor for the Zerg player. And plus zero upgrades. Plus one is on the way and charge for our General Tyler Protoss buddy. But is he going to be able to hold against all these roaches? Looks like the, the attack's on its way. Zelts are coming down the line. They're going to start running after these roaches. Are they going to catch them out of position? Roaches getting some free hits on the Zealots. And that is a huge roach clump right there. Zelts and Stalkers running out to charge against these roaches. Uh, and Immortals, oh my gosh, holy crap. Five Immortals running out. But it looks like not today, says General... Actually, says uh, Jay Lully by falling back. Uh, that's just... That amount of roaches is not going to be too effective against five Immortals plus backup um, and those sentries. So very well played from General Tyler, not even having to engage. He just he, he, he just denies the entire fight with this army composition. And uh, that's something that is very hard to do, especially when you're almost 100 supply under your opponent. Um, but now that Jay Lully has reinforced his uh, army here with... He's basically maxed on roaches at this point. We're looking at 75 workers, um, 74 in fact. Uh, and here comes the next fight, guys. Here we go. Zealots charging in the front. Uh, roaches falling back. All these immortals, six of them in fact now, are doing tons of damage to the front of the roach line. Sentries need to put up some force fields before the roaches get too close. But no, the roaches are inside of the range of everything. And it looks like this uh, position might be compromised for General Tyler. Uh, running and scoot shooting the immortals away two immortals have gone down three so far actually four five and the sixth one just went down and the roaches are now free to go inside of general tyler's base some stalkers morphing in even an immortal there but that's not, not going to make too much of a difference against all these roaches that are even too too upgraded and gg says general tyler and he leaves the game all right, guys, fantastic game. Please support us by liking or subscribing to whatever Star League. I have, I have mine, Star League. There we go. Game two.